All right, how's it going guys? Uh, in this video, I'll be working on a 740 IL. Uh, the thing I'll be working on is uh, my gauge. So basically, let me put this on. Uh, let me turn the lights on. So as you can guys see, see where I have my transmission indicators like parking, reverse, uh, neutral and drive. Then I have 432. Well, uh, since I converted my car uh, to a Subtronic, uh, now I'm gonna program that uh, so it, it doesn't show the 432 unless I physically go to Subtronic and uh, will play with it. Uh, the way you're gonna do that is, um, well, you need couple things. So let me show you what you need and how to do it and then hopefully everything works well i also had my uh temper uh dot on in here but i turn it off i mean i can show you how to turn that thing off too because i have a well m cluster and pretty much i had a temper light so i had to code the uh the vin number from this car to this cluster so i don't have the temper light i mean down the line i'll probably adjust the correct mileage because this car has way low mileage than 172 well i tried with coding it just didn't work it won't allow me so pretty much i need uh someone who can do it or unless i take the cluster apart and swap the uh, apparently they have like a uh, small chips for mileage so you have to take that out and put it in here you have to like solder and stuff so uh, I'll see I'll probably do it if not not it doesn't bother me so but today I'll be working on that so yeah so all right guys so I'm gonna show what you need in order to convert that and how to do it and what software and what else so pretty much well you need a laptop computer that is running uh, Windows 10 or Windows 7, it doesn't matter. So you need that. Well, I have a Mac, so uh, well, I'm running both systems in it, Mac and Windows. So you pretty much you need Windows for this. You need this cable. It's like a BMW scanner cable that I got it from Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. Then obviously you need an adapter for it. and well i've plugged in like a battery charger so because i'll be leaving the ignition on so i want to make sure uh, it's the the battery charge is good i don't want to i don't want that car die in middle of coding that could cause some problems yeah so here we go i'm gonna pretty much show the process since uh my well my computer hooked up to a charger make sure it's hooked up to a charger and then all well, the cable is hooked up to this adapter adapter hooked up to the car and everything is good so i uh, make sure you put, leave the ignition on so my ignition is on currently and now i'm gonna show you what software you need so pretty much you need this tool so it says bmw scanner v 1.4 oh so you open that hit yes so now you're gonna see this it says switch on ignition and press continue well the ignition is on so i'm gonna hit yes now it's reading all right so as you can see see that's the odometer so it's it pretty much is saying it's a wrong odometer because uh it's in kilometers here it's way too much here it's less miles well that's because i have a different cluster so it doesn't bother me okay in order to do that let me take you step by step uh hopefully it reads everything so the next thing you want to do is close this obviously and then you want to go to units here on the uh, bottom i mean not bottom the uh, top left you want to go to units then you want to select here you want to select i k e so that's pretty much the cluster so once you select that right 
the next step you want to do is you want to go to uh, coding data and go to uh, recording so once you go recording see you're gonna have bunch of options pretty much uh, you can code whatever you want up to your liking here the thing we want to do uh, in order to uh, convert the cluster to Siptronic gearbox see right now it says under gearbox right here it says uh, automatic five gears so the thing you want to press is Siptronic so we have Siptronic six gears so that's six gears then you have Siptronic that means five it's for five speed gearbox so once you click that and then you hit uh, right now it's processing so it processed it so it's gonna reset the cluster now it says uh, coding data right okay so we're gonna hit okay and then uh, we're gonna go uh, check the car and see if he did it so as you can guys tell uh see now i have parking reverse neutral and drive so i don't have that uh extra uh things in the bottom because it converted to a siptronic and uh i want to test this now so i want to st uh, start my car and put it on drive siptronic and see if the other gears gonna pop i mean if it's gonna indicate in the cluster so okay here we go i'm gonna pretty much run the car right now so the car is on uh, so I'm gonna put it so reverse works neutral good drive under drive so I'm gonna slap it to sport mode so it says sport mode now I'm gonna when I'm gonna shift down see it says first second third fourth fifth that's a manual mode and then I'm gonna go back so in drive then I'm gonna put it on park and tada that's how it works uh also i want to program those uh lights and the temperature gauge but upon uh research i find out that i need uh uh the x5 uh, 4.6 is version D, uh, software from a dme i gotta apparently write those files that's how this car can uh, apparently communicate uh, with uh, with the car so the uh, oil temperature gauge works and the uh, uh, lights well so far it doesn't bother me it's fine it is what it is uh, but as long as I don't have the temper light and I just uh, did the this uh, um, indicator for the gearbox it works fine perfect because this is a 99 uh, 740IL so it doesn't come with a uh, Siptronic uh, gear lever so it's like a normal traditional uh, well I took it out from a 2001 sport version I swapped this and then I've put uh, uh, the electronic I mean the DME for the gearbox I, I, I put it from the sport version as well I did some rewiring it works the only thing I had to do is to reprogram the cluster so it shows how it's supposed to show and yeah it works perfect uh, well if you guys find this helpful well good for me I guess <laughs> uh, yeah pretty much that's how it goes all right guys now uh, i'm gonna show you how to remove the temper uh, uh dot uh well i'm on my 750 right now i've changed the cluster because i had a cluster with uh alpina uh writing on it and the uh, chrome rings it just looks so much better in my opinion so i swapped the cluster obviously it's not the correct cluster but it has the pretty much roughly same mileage but I'll probably adjust the mileage to the correct mileage and uh, I just wanna show you how to take the uh, temper light uh, dot off so once I put the ignition on as you can tell I mean let me zoom in 
if can you guys see this see this uh, little dot here so that means it's not original cl cluster or the light module or the EWS it's been messed with it so in my case uh, I have a different cluster and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that uh, so it's not there so pretty much I'm gonna just uh, program this cluster to this car so I'm gonna put write the VIN number of this car to this cluster so it's a, so it shows as like is like original cluster so here we go so we need the same things we need a laptop with windows on it we need the uh, PA software with the cable BMW cable and adapter and I'm gonna open it and show you how to uh, program this cluster to the VIN number of this car here we go so pretty much the same thing as I programmed the uh, gear indicators on the 740 so it's all hooked up the cable hook up, hooked up to a car I have the laptop the program is open and make sure the ignition is on uh, so the thing you want to do is same process uh, go under units then you want to go to ike so that means that's a cluster once you open that all right so we're here now what you want to do is you want to go to uh, reprogram then uh, uh, click right F G S T N R you click that now you're gonna uh, put the last seven digits so in my case my VIN number is so DH uh, 688 688 47 47 so here you go I put the last seven digits of my of my VIN number I hit OK now it's programming okay it says program hit OK so it should reset the cluster if you still see the temper dot you just uh, turn the ignition off wait for like 30 seconds then go back it should be gone so let me show you that okay so now we go back as we can see so I don't have that temper dot anymore it's off so pretty much the cluster been programmed to this VIN number of this car and that's how you guys do that well yeah well all right that's how you guys uh, program the Siptronic gearbox to a non Siptronic car so the indicators works properly and that's how you program the cluster to the VIN number so you don't have the tempered dot well if you guys find this video helpful well good for me right I'm happy well thank you guys and please support 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 I'm new to this and I'm just uh, trying to share my knowledge with you guys what I can or not pretty much just showing my process and yeah more videos to come thank you